Kate Middleton and Prince William are being slammed for their outrageous spending. In recent months, Prince William and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge have been pushed to the forefront of the British royal family. With Megxit and amid the coronavirus pandemic, all eyes have been put on the future, crowned king and queen consort. Now that Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and Prince Harry are living a non-royal life in L.A., the Cambridges are feeling the brunt of all of the praise and criticism that comes with royal life. With the Sussexes out of the way, Kate and Prince William have found themselves in a newfound wave of criticism with a major spotlight on their spending habits. The British royal family costs taxpayers quite a bit of money each year. Though the royal family and Queen Elizabeth II, in particular, are worth quite a bit of money independently. The royals' private money is rarely touched. In order to live such lavish lifestyles, taxpayers contribute a great deal to the royals. In fact, one of the reasons the royals rarely comment on rumors and criticism is because the public essentially finances their lifestyles. If the press says something unkind and you respond, then the anger becomes the story, royal author Tom Quinn told Fox News. Someone once, told me, it's the price, these royals pay for being paid millions every year by British taxpayers to live like 18th-century aristocrats. The royals may get quite a bit more than is reported from taxpayers. The monarchy in general costs a lot more than the royal household admits to, Republic CEO Graham Smith told Express. It is about pound 345 million from the taxpayer every year. It needs to be stripped right back. Royal experts believe Kate Middleton and Prince William should earn their own income. With the Sussexes resigning to reclaim their lives and earn their own living, royal experts are now suggesting that the Cambridges do the same until it's time for Prince William to take the throne. We do not owe Prince William and Kate an income, we do not owe them a role, we don't owe them anything. Smith said. They can go off and do their own thing. The monarchy is there to give us one person and that is the head of state, the Queen. The Queen should, therefore, be on an annual salary similar to that of the Prime Minister. The costs should be stripped away so that we can save that pound 345 million and just provided us with a head of state who is supported by a small office. Prince William and Kate Middleton are being slammed for their spending habits. A lot was said about the Sussexes' spending habits during their time in the royal fold. Critics are displeased with the $2 million renovations to their UK home, Frogmore Cottage which they have since paid back. Harry's spending transformation is revealed as one of the fundamental factors behind the deep fissure that opened between him and his brother, Prince William, Dylan Howard and Andy Tillett write in their book. Royals at War. Now it looks like the Cambridge's spending habits are getting a closer examination. Apparently, the royal couple spent £15,000 on a 950-feet hedge to block the public from seeing into their property. It is typical of the royals to spend this type of money because all they think about is their own lifestyles, Smith explained. They have a deep-seated sense of entitlement. They routinely spend money in the tens of thousands whether it is on their own homes or private plane and helicopter travel around the UK when they could easily take cars or trains. So this is typical of more of their spending. We doubt anything will change, but we do know that Prince Charles is looking to significantly trim down the monarchy.